Hello, everybody. Welcome back to LT Outdoors Live. I'm going to share this again um, on Facebook. I'm sorry, guys. This is very, very frustrating and embarrassing. But again, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't even know what all you guys heard or what I was on when I lost you. Hey there, Matt. I didn't even, it didn't even give me a warning or anything. I messaged the guy that helps me out with it. My internet's been making me so mad because last year they talked me into buying that expensive router, which I bought and it worked fine for a while. All of a sudden it's not working good the past week and they're not fixing it. So, hey there, Don. I am embarrassed, man. I am. I can't help it. You know, this is, I try to go live every weekend and I just, it sucks. I don't see anybody else really having these problems. Just another, just another crap part in life, I guess. But again, I want to say thank you guys for hopping back on. Hey, Rob, um, please, when you guys hit that, it, when you guys hop back on here, please hit that thumbs up. I don't know what all you guys heard that I was talking about when I lost you. Um, hey, Jack, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay, man. I'm doing okay. Hey, Barry, thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Johnny. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. Hey, James. Yeah, I messaged the guy that helped me out with the internet. Um, he works for the company that I have internet through, so... No, the internet's definitely not perfect, that's for sure. Especially, you know, I live, I don't most people don't know on here, but I live in the middle of nowhere. I am, I know a lot of people use that term, but I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. I'm surrounded by fields, bean fields. I'm the only, there's only two other houses on my long stretch of road here. And uh, it, it's hard to get any good signal out here, it really is. So I had to pay for the best signal that I could through this company to just to go live for you guys. I pay um, 80 bucks a month just to, just to do this really. So yeah, but Hey Rob, thanks for hopping back on. Thank you. And thanks for the thumbs up, Rob. Hey John, how you doing buddy? Hey there sunfish. Thanks. Thank you guys for hopping back on. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up, I appreciate it. I'll let people hop back on again before I get too riled up and talking too much. Again, I don't know what I left off as when you guys, when I lost you. I will show some of the uh, auction items now, though. Hey, Paul, what's up, brother? Uh, seems how we're, you know, 10 minutes away from auction time. I'll show you guys what I did. Um, again, thank you to, uh, oh, I got to text the guy back about the internet. Um, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> But I, I want to thank Stephen House again for sending me stuff for the auctions. I think that's really great. He does this stuff. Um, one of the auction items, I put this together by itself because this is a box that Steve sent me full of really great, really great ice fishing jigs. Okay, there's a lot of these are Widowmaker. I mean, most of these. There's also a very neat company in here that I've never seen before. Um, I don't know who makes them. I did see there's a couple lake effect in there, but you know, I still think it's cool. But there are a couple, uh, these are just neat looking, man. They look like minnows. He has a whole bunch of those in there, but this is just a, it's a jig box. You can say ice fishing if you want, but I'm telling you right now, this jig box is good year round. You'll see again, if you watch my channel for the most part through spring and summer, um, I am always using ice fishing jigs. These tungsten jigs are great for all seasons. So, um, yeah, you're definitely going to want to get in on this. But this box is going to go up to auction tonight on its own because it's got so many great stuff in it. Hey, Mike, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> Thanks, John. Yeah, if you guys haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. I appreciate it. Um, now, another auction tonight. This is All this stuff's pretty big. This is a... This is going to go together, but this is a whole box of Z-Man Ned rigs, okay? There's even a bunch of Z-Man Ned heads in there for jigs. Um, yeah. <laughs> and there, this box here is a bunch of, they call them Robo Worms, which are basically, it's another brand of Ned head or Ned jigs, but they're, uh, 
they're more they, they look more like a grub like a real grub than the neds do so i think i haven't tried the robo yet i will be trying them this year but i think these are actually going to work maybe even better than the neds so they're really nice but um these are going to go together tonight so you'll get these two anybody that wins on those <laughs> they've been pretty good yeah they've been good it's it's helping me out a lot um another auction tonight guys i figure this is like a hey mike like a bass fishing type thing you've got a whole box full of helgies that also have uh some jigs in there and then this box here um i should have wrote them down i can't remember what what they're called but uh I do like the color patterns, Eli. Thanks for that. Yeah, I was looking at those and I thought to myself, man, on the Robo Worms, those are some really incredible patterns. I want to show you guys these, though. This is a, a whole kit that he threw in there. Uh, this one I like because it'll swim sideways like a minnow. This one, more up and down jig-wise. But this box is loaded with jigs and plastics of all the, I mean, lots of cool weedless ones. If you ask me, this is like bass fishing paradise right here, guys. But I'm going to be doing this box here full of those along with the Lunker City Helgi kit, which if you haven't seen the Helgis before, thanks, Steve. Welcome on here, buddy. Yeah, the Z-Man baby goats. That's what they are. Hey, Bill. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the Helgis, though, are really nice. And again, he threw in... Nethead jigs with these Helgies. So these kits are epic. You're going to want to get on them. But these are going to go together, kind of like a nice bass fishing thing. Those Helgies, too, I can tell you right now, are going to work really good for trout, if you like the trout fish. Um, this one here, too, I'm really excited about. I think it's really cool. Howdy again, Lisa. Uh, this is It's going to be a lure box, pretty much, lure auction here uh, for you figure walleye, bass, pike, stuff like that. Uh, you've got your nice flicker shads in there. You've got, I think he called that the wake bait or big wake. I don't know. They're really cool top water, top water cranks. I'm excited to try these myself. And the colors are outstanding too, I got to say. I mean, look at that. That is a nice short-lipped crank. These babies right here are going to ride on the top of the water. Um, it, they're going to be awesome. I'm telling you right now. But there's four of those in there. You got shad colors. I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous topwater cranks. And then, of course, you got your beautiful flicker minnows in here, um, which work outstanding. So we are going to have a whole box full of these going on. And this auction here, that's right. Kevin, Kevin Van Dam wake baits is what those big those top water cranks are called. Thank you. And then the uh, Biospawn Lipless is what I'm getting to right now. Uh, this is also going to go with this, okay? It's going to be a whole lure thing. Uh, these are Biospawn Lipless Crankbaits, which I got to say, I have never... Thanks, Bill. I think it's pretty cool, too. I have never in my life seen lipless crankbaits like this. I mean, these... To me, it reminds me a lot of a blade bait. And I think it's going to run a lot like a blade bait, but it's plastic. It's got rattles inside. Um, just really cool. The way it's going to run in the water is going to be going to be super cool. So yeah, there's a whole box of these. Some really nice colors. To me, they remind me of transformers. I think they're just neat. So uh, yeah, this box here is going to go right along with the box full of cranks. So those are going to go together tonight, guys. Um, yeah, so some really good auctions. Again, I want to thank Stephen House that's on here right now for sending the great stuff in the mail. And again, <laughs> thanks, Rob. Again, I want to say sorry for losing you guys earlier. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. I appreciate it, and it does help the channel. Um, North Lisa and <laughs> South Lisa. That's so funny. Hey, North Lisa, how's the puppy doing? I miss, I miss my buddy. <laughs> yep, spring is definitely here. I do want to show you guys. I'm pretty proud of this, and I think I froze up before I could show you this. This is the new 2024 um, Master Angler patch, okay? And 
I think they did a really good job on this. The colors are absolutely beautiful. Just a stunning patch. That is a pumpkin seed sunfish, and it's just really pretty. So if you guys catch any nice big fish this year, make sure that you put in for it because that's just something, you know, you got to figure the state of Michigan doesn't give us much, especially for free. So if you've got the chance, put in for these, get them. I'm going to try and get myself a nice, I, I need a nice, um, like a picture frame or something that I can start putting these in. Cause I have, I have a lot, I have a whole lot of them. Uh, but this, this is this year. So I'm pretty excited. Me and Rick, if you didn't hear earlier, we caught master angler fish today. So we've got another one of these babies coming pretty. Uh, so yeah, two on the board for me and, uh, going to try and get into the double digits this year. So Yeah, that's always nice, Rob. Absolutely. I'm sure you will, Paul. I'm sure you'll get it soon. Yep. Yeah, I was pretty pumped. Well, I got this in the mail yesterday, and I was just psyched, man. Absolutely. It was cool. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, definitely, Lisa. Yep. Got to do it. And it just it really adds to it all. You know, it, it gives you something extra to enjoy about fishing. If you catch a big fish, big fish are exciting as it is, but if you measure that fish and then realize, hey, this is up to standards on the Master Angler Awards, boom, you've just got yourself a cool patch. And if you're in the top 10 in the state of Michigan for that species, you get a certificate. I've got um, several certificates myself over the years, but like this one here was... Uh, this was a fifth place. I have a couple first places, but this is what it looks like when they send you a um, placing award. You get a nice certificate like that, so I frame them up. Um, but yeah, I've gotten uh, the one year, I don't remember which year it was, but one year I took top in the state. I got the biggest brook trout in the state of Michigan for the one year, so I took top, and I also took top for a bluegill one year. So I don't have any state records. I have record master anglers, but I don't have any state records. I'm still working on that. But thank you, Rob. Thank you. I've got, man, if you, <laughs> I, I've got a lot. I need, like I said, I need to get a frame. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for a nice picture frame so that I can just start throwing these babies all in there because I have, I have a lot. That's not counting all the ones I got hanging on the wall. I have a bunch of them on the wall too, so absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. The uh, I, I did. It's funny today. I was looking up online just to see because I didn't really start putting in for Master Angler Awards until 2017, so I wasn't quite sure what they looked like before then. I did get one in 2006 for a sheephead, and then for some reason I never put in again. And basically, it was just a generic silhouette of a fish on that patch. Nothing fancy. And it turns out they didn't really start doing any fancy ones until around 2015, which I believe the first fancy one was a muskie. Um, 2016 was the smallmouth bass uh, with some beautiful brush. I might have to buy those two patches because those are the only fancy ones I'm missing, and I would really like to have them. <laughs> so, Oh, nice. Very cool, Eli. Very cool. Yep, I figured the smallies would be starting to come in. <laughs> hey, thank you, Braden. I figured the smallies would be starting to come in. Yeah, shadow box would be real cool, Deke. I've tried to look. I can't find anything online that even looks like it would it would work, but four master anglers for the first time. Oh, you put in four. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Oh, they, you'll know, Ryan. If if they didn't accept your fish, you would have gotten an email. If if they do accept it, you won't know. They ain't going to email you back. So the only way that they did not accept it is if it was a poor picture and, you know, they they would have emailed you back. So, yep, don't worry about it. If, if they don't email you, it, it does take time. Sometimes it can take a couple months to get your patch back, but don't worry about it. You will get it. And, uh, yeah, they, they don't reach back out to you for a while. So. <laughs> All right, guys, it is 8.30, so even though I missed a bunch of time talking with you guys, I will get to the auctions now. We'll get them over with. 
and then I'll probably stay on just a little bit later tonight so that we can get some more talking in because morel mushrooms are popping, so I want to talk about that. I did catch a beaver today, so I want to talk about that. Sucker fishing and cat fishing on the way, so lots to talk about. But first one, I'm going to get out of the way tonight, and I know Rick's been drooling on this one, so never put them in anything for display. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, I'm going to do first one tonight, guys, is going to be the jig box. Like I said, it's two-sided. It is loaded with really beautiful jigs. Most of these are Widowmaker. There are a few Lake Effect. Um, there's a couple unknown in there, but then there's these. There's also a bunch of really cool ones that I've never seen. So uh, Lisa's the first one to hop on with $30. Thank you very much, Lisa. $30 right now, guys, gets you this jig box full of awesome ice fishing jigs those ones man they i i want to know what brand that is because i really like the looks of them they are just a beauty neil comes in at 75 guys we're at 75 dollars right now 75 you're welcome ryan anytime man anytime yeah i don't know what um i, I don't know what brand those ones are but they are steve if you're if you happen to remember what brand these are let me know I know that I'm with Widowmaker, but I am, uh, I'm really curious and I kind of want to try these. They look like little, little minnows. So yeah, there's, there's quite a few in here. I mean, there's, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, four, Fifty four sixty All right. Don's got her at 80 bucks right now, guys. $80. 80 bucks. Like I said, these are some really nice ones. It's got all my favorite widow makers in there too, as well as uh Rich's favorite actually is these droplets up here, which are a really great uh fish and lure, especially if you are um yeah yeah you can't yep not even for 150 it's a it's definitely a worthwhile worthwhile deal but these droplets are nice because you can slide a pretty good sized plastic on there um they're really nice for jigging a bonita or uh really anything they're a great open water jig so yep there's some really cool stuff in here even the case i like the case i've never heard of this alicino but i like the color and stuff so uh Neil's at a hundred bucks. We're at a hundred dollars. Sorry, Robbie, just beat you there. Hundred bucks, guys. Hundred bucks for this beautiful bunch of bunch of uh, jigs. I don't have my I don't have my light on me, or I'd glow them up for you because I most well almost all of these, maybe all of these are glow. So ice rods are always fun. <laughs> All right, $100. Neil has it at $100 right now. $100. I'm going to let it go for another 30 seconds, guys. We are at $100. We're at $100, guys. Again, I want to thank you guys for bidding. I've got some more really great auctions going on tonight. I want to thank Stephen House for sending this stuff to me again. It was really great. Um, hey, Dan. Dan comes in at 110 110 guys. He beat the clock by about eight seconds. We're at 110 right now. 110. 110 gets you 70, over 70 of these awesome jigs. And I mean, this kit alone, this this is all you need, really. You could go your whole rest of your life ice fishing with just this box. And that's not a joke. You could take this on forever. So, hey, thank you, Rick. <laughs> Neil comes in at 125. Neil wants it. He knows how good these are. 125, guys. We're at 125 for this jig box. 125. I was going to put this with a box of plastics tonight, and I was like, you know, this is just too good on its own. I mean, the jig, I, I love uh, tungsten jigs and small jigs in general, especially open water. They are great in the spring. So, yeah, really good. We're at 125, guys. 125, going to let it go for another 20 seconds here. 125. I want to thank you guys again for bidding. It helps me out a lot. Dan jumps in again. 130. Dan's at 130, Neil. We are at 130 right now. 130 for the jig box. Bear with me. I am tired. I've been fishing all day for suckers. So 
a little bit whipped, but fishing all day and then skinning out a beaver tonight. So we're at 130 right now. 130 guys, 130. Yep, truck's good to go. Yep, truck's back on the road. I had to get it was actually both front wheel bearings. So it was almost five hundred dollars, but yep, she's all good though. Yep. Oh, it was a decent beaver, probably thirty. It wasn't a monster beaver. Yep. All right, 130 right now. I'm gonna let it go for another 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. 20 seconds right now, guys. 135. 135. Neil comes in at 135. Yeah, I'm happy to have the truck fixed. I'm gonna talk in a as soon as we get done with this, though, I'll tell you why I can't roll just yet, though. I had something happen yesterday. Interesting stuff. Dan comes in at 137. 137. 137, guys. We are in at 137 right now. 137, guys. 137. Going to let it go for 25 more seconds. Yeah, a lot of money. I've already put a whole lot of money into that truck. You know, not only was it $2,000 for the truck, which I guess is a good deal, but uh, it cost an awful lot too. But plenty in your back ponds. Hey, man, let me know. I don't know how far off you are with them, but. Yeah, I've got the, the skulls getting cleaned right now. I just put it in there. 140, 140. Yeah, the prices on everything goes up. It's stupid. We're at 140 right now, guys. 140, 140 for this. 140 for the jig box. And then next up, I'll do some of these bass fishing stuff. So. We are at 140 right now, 140 on the t on these tungsten jigs. Again, they work awesome all season. Don't think they're just ice. You can go out in the spring and summer and catch just as many fish. I, I prefer using these over a plain hook any day in the spring and summer. So um, we are at 140 right now, 140. Well, that's good. I'm glad it got good. Maybe my guy's working on it. Um, <laughs> I got to get you some more down there, Paul. I got to hook you up. We're at 140 right now, guys. 140. Only going to go for five, four, three, two. You got him, Neil. 140, buddy. <laughs> hey there, Jason. Congratulations, Neil. You're really going to like that box, Neil. I can't wait. You'll have to, as soon as you get it, let me know what you think about those those different jigs in there. Because I have never in my life seen those, and I think they are really going to be awesome. <laughs> Knock the snot of the channels, Monster Bullhead. I'm going to be going out for catfish tomorrow. I'm shooting a catfish video tomorrow. Today I went out and did a sucker video because I haven't done a good sucker video. You also get to see me go out and catch my night crawlers that I use for bait. <laughs> All right. Next up here, guys, I am going to do the oh, the goats and the helgies. All right. Two more plastic kits here. Hey, Ian. <laughs> yep. I'm back, buddy. All right, doing the goats and the helgies. You get two kits here, and they come with Ned Head jigs. Um, the helgies, I think, are going to be really great. Well, I appreciate it, Neil. I really do. And, you know, you're. I think you still saved a lot of money in this box compared to what you'd pay, you know, price-wise each. It's And, again, Stephen House, thank you for sending them to me because I couldn't do that stuff without you. Um, I'll just show you again these Helgies that are in here. They look like, I mean, they're Helgramites is what they are, and they come with nice net head jigs. So these right here are going to be great for, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure for uh, even trout and that too. But um, Rob's at 25, Joe's at 40, Dennis is at 50, Ryan's at 40. Joe, I sent you, uh, I sent your package of that other stuff out 
like a week ago and didn't get paid for that stuff. So Ryan's at 60, 60 bucks right now, guys. 60 bucks. We're at 60 bucks right now. Dennis is in at 70, 70 bucks, 70 bucks. $70. Is this the dentist that won the uh, fishing trip? I got to ask. Because I remember, I got. I know there's uh, my buddy Dennis Hollenbeck too, but I think I'm wanting to say this is you that won the fishing trip. So <laughs> if it is, howdy. We got to get that fishing trip going before too long. Awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We're coming up quick. Going to be a lot of fun, Dennis. You'll have to let me know too where your uh, ponds are too with the beaver problems. We are at 70 bucks right now. Dennis has them at $70. $70 gets you the Helgies and the goat. 70 bucks. I like, I, I really like the white perch, man. I think they taste good. I seen you were in my Kato. Yep. Oh, well, if you want to swap for the ice trip, we're good there too, but. I just hadn't heard back from you. When I sent it, I never got a text about it or anything, so I didn't know what you did with it. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't even know if you got it, but no, we're straight then. Yeah, we're straight. If we're swapping for the ice trip. We're good. Um, well, I, did, I seen you texted me about morels, but you never texted me about the package that I sent, so I didn't know. I didn't even know you received it, but I knew I sent it, <laughs> so... All right, guys, $70. Yeah, Dennis, let me know. I, I knew you were in my Kato because I remember after you won the trip, but I didn't know um, whereabouts in my Kato. So you'll have to get a hold of me through email or something and let me know and I'll come get rid of your beavers. That'll get me some good uh, footage too. So, all right, $70, guys. Going to just let her go for another 25 seconds. 25 seconds, guys, 70 bucks. Dennis has them at 70 bucks right now. 15 more seconds. All right. Five, four, three, two. You got him, Dennis. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. It was funny, Joe. Um, the other day, I don't, I don't know if your friend told you, but when me and Rich were shooting that perch video, um, you might have seen him because your one of your friends was in the background. Uh, he, it was funny because he was down there and he's like, "Yeah, my friend Joe's uh, said he watches your show." I, I didn't even get the guy's name, but he seemed like a nice guy. Oh, that's cool, Kevin. I'm glad. I am so glad you tried that out, man. And a sp I'm bullheads, you can't beat it. Yeah. Yep. The Idaho and those are the potatoes, potato flake recipe on them. Oh my God. You can't beat it. Can't beat it. Oh, you do. Yeah. Any of those potato flakes, Paul. I like to use like the Parmesan and garlic, but you just throw, you know, catfish, any fish. I've done it with walleye even. You just throw your fillets in a, a gallon freezer bag, pour that potato mix in, shake it up. It's the best. But, um, it was down at the Alcona Dam. It was my perch video. Uh, me and Rick were down there last week. One day, I can't remember. But there was a nice gentleman down there fishing. And he only caught a couple, but he was a good guy. Yeah, it was cool to, cool talking to him. All right, next up, before I get to the lure box, I'm going to save the lure box for last, guys. Um, next up, I am going to do the, the Z-Man Ned Rigs, which... I'm going to say this right now. I know I'm with Freedom Baits, but I'm going to say this. The Ned Rig is my favorite bait on the planet. I don't know what it is about it. Um, it is a silly looking lure. I'm telling you right now, it catches every single fish that's in the water. Don't ask me how or why. But if you watched a couple years ago before I got with Freedom, I was using the heck out of these. They work awesome. I love using them. Um, I might even make a few 
videos this season using them just so I can get the memories back. And then also I will be doing the robo worms with them, which again, earlier, one of my friends on here mentioned the robo worms have uh, even better colors to them, more natural and just really, really nice colors as far as uh, worms go. So, and they look really nice too. So Yeah, it was down. Yep, down there with that mud puppy. <laughs> well, these both go, Barry. These are going together. So, yep, these ones are going together. So, if you if he wants these, you got to bid on them and uh, get a chance to get all these nets together. So, Don's at forty bucks, guys. We're at forty bucks. Hey there, Brad. I skinned out a beaver myself this evening. Hey, Max. How you doing, buddy? Flying back tomorrow. Well, I hope everything goes good with your flight. I don't know if you're with mom right now, but tell her I said hi if you are. <laughs> uh, 50 bucks. Barry's at 50. Just beat you there, sis. And then sis is at 60. Robin's at 60 bucks. 60 bucks gets you all these freaking Ned rigs. Now, Robin, she knows too, because actually I think it was, yeah, she caught her very first pike on a Ned rig. Um, and I took her and Jack fishing on Vanetton Creek and it was ridiculous. You catch, I mean, the bass, you can't get in front of a bass with these and not catch them. I mean, it's, these things are insane. So yeah. And there's enough Ned rigs in here to, again, last for your whole life. It's really crazy. So they definitely kill. Yep. Don's in at 70. We're at 70 bucks right now, guys. 70 bucks gets you all these Ned rigs and the Robo Worm. After this, I'm going to be doing the uh, crankbait kits and then we'll be done with the auctions and I'll chat a little bit more with you guys about what's coming up so um, also I'll talk a little bit about what happened yesterday that's going to stall my travels so a little bummed but a little excited at the same time uh, Barry comes in at 75 75 bucks 75 bucks here guys 75 dollars for all these neds that's a lot of neds jacks out <laughs> A lot of Ned heads, and they come with Ned head jigs that are already, there's a bunch of Ned head jigs in both boxes. So you're ready to rock and roll with this kit. And it's even got, as you can see, a ton of my favorites, the bubble gum and these ones here, the, the silver color ones are my two favorite colors. So yeah, you're all set. It's even got the PB and J. So uh, berries at 70 bucks, guys, $70. I'm going to let it go for another 20 seconds, 20 seconds on the clock. Barry Brown has it at 75 right now. 75. 75 bucks. Dan comes in at 80. 80 bucks. <laughs> 80, we're back in. <coughs> Sorry, Jack. He beat you at 80 there. Barry's at 85. 85. Again, guys, I, I don't know how many uh, Ned Head jigs are in this box, but there's a lot. And again, this is the only box that you will ever need for Neds. I mean, it's all, it's loaded. There is a whole, he's got, actually, there's a lot of jigs. They are just piled. There's even some really nice light ones that would sink real slow with these. So they would work great. 85, 85 bucks. <laughs> yeah, the grandson would love this. Don's in at 90. I agree. Yeah, bubblegum is definitely my favorite. And then I really like that pearl one as well, but. Yeah, this box here, it's it's awesome. I mean, I, I could definitely, I would use that thing all the time. Barry's in 95, 95 bucks. Gets you all the Ned Heads and the Robo Worms. And I'm shipping all this stuff out tomorrow. So we're at 95. <laughs> Go, Barry. <laughs> 95 bucks, guys. 95. Going to go for about 20 more seconds here. See if Don wants to hop back on. We're at 95 bucks right now. 95. 95 bucks. I was hoping to get Ruby out here. Hey, Ruby. Ruby, come here. I told somebody the other day I was going to try and get Ruby. I don't know if she, she ain't going to get off the chair. <laughs> 95. Barry's at 95. All right. Five, four, three, two. Good job, Barry. <laughs> 95 bucks. Thank you very much. Yeah, Gemma, Ruby's the best. She just she just likes to sleep around. She's just a tired old dog. 
She likes to nap with me when I'm making my lures, which I've been making a lot of lately. You'll have to let me know how they, how he likes the lures. I'm telling you right now, Barry, they are, if he's ever used Ned's before, he, he'll love them. I mean, you can't, you really can't go wrong with them. They're awesome. I know if I would have used them today, I would have caught a bunch of smallies. <clears throat> Cool. All right, I'm going to take a drink real quick, and then we'll get on the last box here, guys. He never has. Well, I'm going to tell you, Just, I'll just tell you right now how to fish them. All right, this is a Ned jig. I, I use these for about everything. They are great jig heads. Uh, they're, they're made to just kind of stand up like this. But what's cool is you put one of those. I'm not going to take one of his Neds, but if you put one of those Ned heads on there and uh, – I'm just going to break this. I don't even care. Um, basically make it into a Ned. You put that little Ned on there, which it's actually called a turd, Ned turd, which they do look like turds. But you throw them things out, and it'll stand up like this in the water, and it's got a little wiggle. They also float. That's what makes it stand. They float. So when you throw that thing out there on a jig, it sinks real slow, and then it stands up. Now all you do, just give it a light bounce, and then let it drop again. I mean, it's a Ned rigs are about fishing really slow, all right? You fish, the slower you fish with a Ned, the better. But if there's any bass, anything around, bass, pike, you name it, they eat them. I mean, if he goes back and watches, I have a bunch of really great, um, yeah, I know, it's a water. Um, I have a bunch of really great uh, videos of me using the Ned. It's, it's my favorite plastic, it really is. So... Yeah, I fill I fill all my Coke bottles after I'm done drinking them. I fill them with water, and then that way I got cold waters in the fridge. So I can't wait to hear how he likes them, Barry. They're really great. <laughs> I do want to say this too, Max, that's on here um, over in Japan. He bought some some Japanese lures while he was over there that are getting donated into the kids fishing tournament. So I'm going to be making posts probably starting towards the end of this week about the tournament. I need to start going to shops and getting some donations because it's all coming up pretty fast. I think I'm going to do it the second week of probably second weekend of May. Um, but I'm telling you guys, it's going to be fun. I'm going to do a bingo card tournament for the kids. And I think it's really unique that Max picked up Japanese lures over there. It, I mean, the writing and everything, it's just, to me, if I was a kid and I won those, I would be ecstatic. I think it's really cool. He's also going to get a few more um, before he leaves so that we can put them on auction. So yeah, it's, it's very neat and I appreciate that. So, oh yeah, thanks for that, Steve. I appreciate that. That's a great thing to tell your grandson too, uh, Barry. Do not mix even the robo worm. Do not mix the robo worm here with the net heads. Keep these net heads together by themselves. Any of the Z-Man plastics, they're made, they call it a Laztec. I'll show you right now. I think it's pretty amazing. It's uh, just a unique type of plastic. And I, I think any company that could, could imitate this would really make some money because they don't break. I mean, you can, it makes a lot of plastic companies mad because you could seriously use these and catch hundred fish on it before it ever gets messed up. But uh, the problem with this plastic is it doesn't mix well with others. If I were to throw this pe this freedom in there with it, those two would melt together. So yeah, do not mix any other plastics with your Z-Mans. You keep these, uh, you keep your Ned rigs all together by themselves and you'll be good to go. Hey there, Joe. <laughs> All right, last up tonight, guys, on the tournament block. Um, like I said, I've got in here are some flicker sheds as well as some Kevin Van Dam wake baits, which these are some big topwater cranks that I think are going to be amazing. Um, I'm excited to try them myself. These are lipless crankbaits that remind me of Transformers. I think they're pretty amazing. So uh, right now that's what we're auctioning off is the box, uh, both boxes. Rick comes in at 75 bucks. 75, you got your beat there, Jim. Um, but yeah, you get these really awesome baits. Now, 
I'm telling you, these Kevin Van Dam top waters are going to be something to see. I am so excited because these lipless they, or these short lip cranks, they go so they run on the top of the water. It's going to run like a jitterbug. So I'm pretty pumped to see what it does. Uh, Joe comes in at 100, Rob's at 125. 125, guys. 125 gets you this box here and the box of these unique, unique baits. Like I said, I've never seen these before in my life. Uh, these are very, very cool. There's a whole bunch of different colors in here and they rattle like crazy. They're kind of like a blade bait. I think you'd fish them just like a blade bait. I am going to try them out myself. I might even try one tomorrow. I don't know, but um, yeah, very cool blade baits. These things are neat. So um, Rob's at 125 right now, 125. There are, you get eight of these really cool lipless cranks in here. Um, you get four of the flicker shads and four of those big top water cranks. So really a great deal. Thanks, Steve. Yep, Biospawn Lipless Crank is what these ones are. They remind me of a Transformer. They're really cool. And the name, I mean, Biospawn's a neat name as it is. But we're at 125 right now, guys. 125 gets you all these cool lures. The Biospawn Lipless Cranks are definitely neat. I think they're going to be insane for walleye, especially like on the Saginaw River. Because, well, pretty much anywhere. Because blade baits are kind of taken over on the market um, the past couple years for uh, walleyes you know a blade bait seems to work really well because they they vibrate a lot and everything else but these also have rattles in them blade baits usually don't they're just you know they wobble a lot and make vibrations but these here i think are going to wobble and rattle so i really think these are going to be something great we'll see what they do it's definitely something neat so 125 oh cool well they like these rob they're really cool they are they're they're unique and I'll tell you, if you're out on the pontoon on a calm day, I would use those Kevin Van Dam short lip cranks, man. Those babies, those things are going to work great for big bass. So we're at 125. I'm going to let it go for 15 more seconds. We're at 125. Gets you the Biospawn lipless cranks, the Kevin Van Dam short lip cranks. Rick's at 130. Rick comes in 130. 130, guys. And uh, these flicker shads are my favorite crank for uh, walleye. So. I love those things for walleye. They're really great. <clears throat> Rick's at 130 right now. 130. I'm going to let it go for 20 more seconds. 130. 130 gets you these. 135. Rob's at 135. 135, guys. 135. Again, I want to thank you guys for bidding tonight, and I want to apologize for earlier's mess up. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. It does help, even as silly as it seems. Uh, we're at 135 right now. 135. 135. Going to let it go for 25 more seconds. We're at 135. And then I'll tell you what's going to hold me up from being able to camp as quick as I wanted to. <laughs> 135. Going for 10 seconds here, guys. 135. Rob's got it at 135. Five, four, three, two. You got him, Rob. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Yeah, it's definitely some cool stuff. Again, I want to say thank you to uh, Stephen House for donating this stuff. Um, I appreciate it. Every time somebody sends me things to auction, it helps out immensely for the channel and for myself. I can't get out and fish if I don't have any cash to keep me going. So I appreciate it. Hey, Joe Choi. How's it going, buddy? Um, I do want to say this, though, guys. Even though I got the truck up and running, yesterday when I went out to the barn, I want to say this. Um, oh, Northland Jig. Okay. I'll have to check that out. Thanks, Steve. I went out to the barn yesterday. I've been missing a goose for about two months, and I thought maybe she got taken by an eagle or something, right? Bum me out. Well, going to the barn yesterday, I hear peep, 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 and here she is hidden in one of my old chicken houses that's all dilapidated and fallen down, and she's got 11 babies. So I had 11 baby geese yesterday. 
And I went to go gather them up. Of course, all the other big geese had to come swarm me and try to fight me. They didn't bite me, luckily. They were cool about it. But uh, I tried to let the geese hang out with the mom for a while because that's what I'd rather let her do is raise them herself. When I came back from setting beaver traps, which wasn't that long, when I got back, one of them was already dead. So I said, to heck with it. I'm bringing them inside. I need them to get a good chance at life. So now I've got 10 baby geese in my spare bedroom raising them in the house. So it's going to be a little bit before I can just leave because now I got to, now I got to goose sit. But, uh, so before I can do all my traveling, I can still travel up this way. Uh, you know, go to Mayo, Lewiston, um, even over to Houghton Lake and that, but I'm not going to get to go downstate just yet. Like I really wanted to because the goosies, but they are cute. I'll do little videos. So you guys will see them off and on too, which will be fun. Um, also I do want to mention this again, Coming up Wednesday, today we went out and filmed a sucker fishing video, which for any of you that have ever done uh, any sucker fishing, it is a ball. We use night crawlers. I went out and caught my own night crawlers yesterday. I even tied up my own sucker crawler harnesses last night, which I might start selling my own harnesses for suckers and catfish and bullheads and stuff, but that's what we all used today and we did really well. We came back with a pile of big suckers. We all three got master angler suckers today. And I caught two really big smallmouth bass. Ryan caught a big bass. I mean, it was just a good day. So it was fun. I hope you guys enjoy that video coming up on Wednesday. Also, um, I'm going to have... Oh, <laughs> thanks, Rob. I didn't... I, I missed that one. Thank you. The biospawn one. All right. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations. But uh, yeah, guys, I, I'm going to be heading down tomorrow to Bay City, and I'm going to be in the kayak, and I'm going to be doing some catfishing. So the boat is not fixed right now. We have the boat tied up or at the moment it is at Rick's house. We, well, he, I'm going to say he, because I didn't, he did all this work himself. He cleaned the whole bottom of the boat off. Um, he, he's been doing so much work on that boat. Um, I felt bad when he had it all fixed up and then it turned out to just not be fixed. So I'm hoping this time around, he, he even went out and bought the, the glove it for the boat. So hopefully we get this stuff out. Um, it, it's going to be good to go and we'll be rocking and rolling. I've also got my uh, boat motor back finally it's been two years finally got it back from the guy the other day uh this boat motor goes to my new i got a smoker craft given to me by rich last year um i just didn't have a big enough motor this motor is going to work for it i just have to get the motor fixed okay uh rick is also working on that bless his soul he he's been helping out with everything so no i have not cooper nope never have I want to. I'm planning to. Um, I'd really like to get over there and fish the rivers and stuff. Oh, well, thank you, Max. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. I love seeing that stuff, man. You guys got some really cool lures and baits over there. So, um, We're going to be, well, we Rick is smoking the suckers. He is a chef when it comes to smoking fish. I'm telling you right now, I never had smoked catfish until last year. When me and him did the catfish video and came back with our limits, that's 20 catfish, he smoked all those cats. And I'm telling you, it was like candy. It really was. That, that tasted like candy. And he told me the suckers that he does that way turns out just like that. Sweet. Exciting, man. Can't wait to see how it works. We're going to have to get it out. Soon as we get another nice day. Well, that's that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, the pig nuts. Those things were excellent. <laughs> I do. I like bullheads, Cooper. I think they're better than channel cats. I do. I think they've got a sweeter taste to them. Yep. I love bullheads. I keep them every year. I always try to bring a bunch of bullheads home. They call them butter cats, too. So, Chippewa Lake. Mm. 
I wouldn't doubt it, Kevin. I mean, there's a every time I try to type in a name of a lake in Michigan, there's always a whole bunch of those same name lakes. So I really wouldn't doubt it. There's probably a bunch of Chippewa lakes. Nope, never, never had them canned, Barry. Never had them canned. Twenty bucks for a pound of the smoke. Well, I'll tell you what. You know, if Rick gives me a couple, I'll, I'll give you some. <laughs> well, you see that, Rick? Now, dang it! Now that means we got to go out and catch some more suckers. What do you know? That's not any fun, huh? Net Ryan, no. Nope. In fact, I'm still like I talked earlier about it. I'm not. I'm embarrassed about even making it. But the GoFundMe page is. Last I checked, it was almost two thousand dollars. It's going to be about four thousand dollars. So, um, yeah, we're we're almost there. It started off around nine thousand, is what I got estimated. But people have been donating um, materials. You know, different contractors, which is great. I've had a lot of support from local contractors and just some good all around people in the community. So. You know, with everything that's been given, um, it'll be about 4000 to have the, because we got to tear off the old roof, put the water and ice or whatever you call it down underneath. And we're going to put, I think we're putting a metal, from what I know with the guy that I'm working with, we're putting a metal roof on. So, which will be really nice. I bet they are, Ryan. I bet they'd be really good. Yeah, mine's shingled, Ian. Yep. Like canned salmon. That does sound good. Smoke the bullhead. Oh, I bet they are. I mean, bullheads are great. I agree, Kevin. Yeah, way better. Yep. Yeah, they're really good. There you go, Joe. Yep. Rick Smoke Fish Shack. Here <laughs> to do with the duck. All right. With duck, I like to take the breast, the breast meat itself. I like to butterfly stuff with a half of a jalapeno pepper. Uh, half a brick of cream cheese or whatever I can fit in there, uh, wrapping bacon and grill. That is my favorite way to do duck. I also sprinkle some seasoning, whatever I feel like putting on there, but that's my favorite way to do duck. Um, I have done, you know, duck wings, duck legs and stuff like that. It's all right, but I prefer the breast. That seems to be the best. And that's, you get more meat out of the duck breast than anywhere else. Now on the goose, I don't like goose meat that much, but I make goose jerky out of it. And goose jerky to me is just as good, if not better, than beef jerky. I, I really like it. So every goose that I get during goose season, I make into uh, goose jerky. It's really good. I, you know, I, I don't feel like I deserve anything, Ryan, but it's, uh, it is nice to see, you know, people come and help. And, you know, it, it's really nice. So. Hey there, Catfish and Crappie. Hello from Northern Illinois. I hope you guys are having great weather down that way. Battered and deep fried. I kind of figured they would be. I know there's a lot of bones. Uh, mine's 18, 18 square. Yeah, that's the best way, I think, to do duck. I've done chicken breasts that way, too, and it's epic. But, yeah, duck, it's really good that way. Nice. There you go, Barry. Cool. I think they're up now, up here pretty good. I'm going to get out and uh, check myself this week for sure. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll get out and do some checking. So I know they're up a lot downstate, but I know they're up here too. So yeah, yeah, it's not easy. <clears throat> well, the prices on everything on the roof stuff went way, way up, too. Hey there, Taylor. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Yep, you talked about that. That sounds really good. I know. I know. That's We're going to have to get some more suckers to bring to Robin now. I didn't even think of that. Good. I'm glad, Catfish. That's good. I figured it would be, you know... Because we're, we're starting to get it, too, up here. I figured you guys would have been warmer for a little longer, but it sure is nice getting that weather. Yeah, 18 square. Yep. It's just a, I mean, all it is is a modular. It's just a, a rectangle roof. That's it. Nothing nothing special. Um, Honestly, Cooper, we shoot... It, it's it's hard to say what we shoot the most because where I'm at, we get a lot of divers. So 
yeah, we get our mallards, get a lot of mallards, a lot of woodies, but I also get a whole lot of buffle heads, um, a whole lot of uh, bluebills, um, ringnecks, redheads, a um, little bit of everything. I've only shot one canvas back in my life, one shoveler, but I have shot just about everything. I've shot a uh, white wing scoter. I've shot a surf scoter. Out, both of those were out on Lake Huron. Um, old squaw. We get quite a few old squaw later in the season. I'm going to be doing, seems how you like duck hunting, Cooper. I am going to be doing a lot more duck hunts this season. I'm I'm lo- slowing down on trapping for this year, and it's going to be mostly duck hunting. So several pounds today. I figured they'd be good, Joe. Yeah, with this warmer, warmer weather, today was beautiful. Between the, the heat and the rain, I think we're good. So yeah, yeah, that's true, Kevin. Yeah, you'll definitely tell the difference there. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or, you know, canning them. Yeah, Robin made me can pike and it's delicious. I mean, he, you know, dicing it up with all them bones and, and canning it and not even, I, I rip them apart and throw them on cracker or, or, you know, you don't even notice the bones. It's really cool. The geese are oily, but that's again, when I smoke them and make jerky, don't even notice, man. It smokes right out of them. Yeah, actually, Mark McKinley that's on here, he donated a big tarp. He brought it over the other day for me to use. I am going to climb up there Tuesday and put the big tarp up. It's going to be too windy today. It was way too windy today. So, All right, have a good night, sis. <laughs> yeah, the waterfall videos are, are going to be great, yep. They don't get as many views, though, as my trapping videos. That's what kind of sucks, and that's why I keep, um, you know, why I, I trap as hard as I do, because I, my trap videos just do really well. But my contractor, it's A1, um, oh, what does he go by now? A1 Home Maintenance. It's my friend Chance is doing it. He's donating his time, so he's doing it for free. I am going out, Ryan. Now, I can't promise I'm going to shoot a long beard. I might shoot a short beard. Last season. All right, I went out and I had a, I wanted to put the video out, but I didn't because I didn't shoot. It wasn't much of a video, but Rick called me in a turkey. I bought a really nice decoy, which I have sitting right over here. These turkeys, there was three toms, all right? They all come in. They were jakes. They were just little jakes, but they all come in, and one of them raped my turkey decoy for like 10, 15 minutes. It was ridiculous. I was laughing. I'm laughing in the camera. I'm I'm laughing and, and talking to Rick right over here next to me, you know, saying, man, I don't know if I should shoot him. This is too funny. Like, it was just, I, I was dying. I really was. And I, I didn't want to shoot him. It was too funny. And I want to get, you know, just like my first buck, I didn't shoot a first buck until eight, nine years ago because I wanted my first one in my life to be a good buck. So I'm kind of stuck there with the, with the uh, turkeys too. I'd kind of like to get a at least a Tom with a decent beard if I'm going to shoot one. But who knows? I might take my first one. Yellow bass. You, you might be talking about silver bass. Um, we have white bass. We have white bass, smallmouth bass, and largemouth bass, which white bass are pretty good. Nope, don't have the materials yet. Um, there's a guy that said he's going to be donating it up by Mayo, so I have to go up uh, that way this week. Chance, the contractor that's helping me, is going to give me a ride up there with his truck and his trailer so that we can load stuff up. We're going to look at it, though. If the materials aren't all that great, then I'm probably just going to buy the stuff from the uh, Amish store in Mayo. But um, it, it all depends. You know, I just want to see... I just want to see what we got to get, and I also have to come up with the money first before I get the materials because I don't – right now, the GoFundMe's up to 2000 almost. I don't even think it's quite there, but I need four, about 4000 to get the dumpster and all that other stuff. So, Yeah, the fur price is – yeah, yeah, not happy about it. Um, that, But I, I really think, though, that I got screwed over on that. I really do. Um, I am going to be going out and uh, selling to a different guy here towards the end of season. So I I don't, it doesn't matter to me, Joe. It really don't. But 
I mean, I'm gonna, I, 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 I could have rainbow colors all over the roof. I wouldn't care as long as it don't leak. I mean, it is leaking so bad right now. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure, but well, I'm going to get off of here, guys. Um, my battery's actually about dead on the laptop. So I appreciate the heck out of everybody. Thanks for all the, um, I don't even have a color preference, Joe. I really don't <laughs> anything, but, um, I want to thank everybody again for your help with the donations and for the auctions. You have a good one too, Cooper, and I'll chat with you again next time. But I hope you guys all have a great week. Thanks again for everybody helping out any way you can. And uh, I hope you enjoy my sucker video this week. And I will be doing a cat video next. Have a good night. See you next Sunday.